I don't have a strat problem. You have a strat problem. What is up YouTube? I am Buddy Blues and today we're going to talk about the best guitar ever made. I'm talking of course about my absolute favorite guitar of all time, the Fender Stratocaster. Now it doesn't have to be Fender and that's what this video is about. So my two favorite guitarists, Jimi Hendrix and Eric Johnson, both are synonymous with playing Stratocasters. And both of them are very different, right? And they make them sound very unique to them and that's the specialty of a Strat. You've got three single coils, the neck pickup gives you that big huge sound the bridge pickup gives you that piercing yet very creamy sound so during a solo you'll stand out the middle position you don't use i don't use no one ever uses move on position two and four the in-betweens of neck and middle middle and bridge give you that steve ray vaughn quack sound that oh man oh man oh man today i'm going to be comparing two amazing stratocaster and stratocaster style guitar if you don't know, ladies and gentlemen, I am an LSL Instruments artist, so I'm going to be comparing that guitar because it was custom built for me with my specifications to what I really want a Strat to feel like, look like, and sound like. And thanks to a friend of mine, I also happen to have a top of the line Fender Custom Shop 1960 Relic Strat in Seafoam Green Master Built. I get it, we're in that high top territory, but that's what I wanna talk about. I wanna bring the best of the best to the table and I wanna compare them one to one. Paul Waller is a master builder at Fender. He's one of the top guys that work on taking a traditional instrument, but adding a little bit of a twist to it, which I will demonstrate briefly. I don't wanna go too deep into the weirdness of that strat, but it is an amazing strat, top to bottom. The Egg, which is the name that was thrown around in the factory in LSL Instruments while they were building my guitar, is a 1960 to 1963 replica pretty much of a Stratocaster. It is a Satikoi custom where I gave them pretty much all the specs that I wanted and they built it step by step for what I like and how I'd like it to sound and feel. I understand I may be a little bit biased towards the LSL, but bear with me. Both of these strats are gonna have 1960 to 1965 voiced pickups. So early 60s voiced pickups, they should be similar. They should have that very vintagey clean and they are gonna sound very well overdriven. I'm gonna run them through my Marshall first. I'm gonna just add a tube screamer in the middle so we can get a little crunch. Let's get to it. Mm-hmm. 
Ladies and gentlemen, you have now heard both guitars. Let me know what you think. Which one do you like more? Is it the white one? Is it the Sir Queen one? Is it the LSL, which is the white one? Or is it the Fender Custom Shop Master Built by Paul Waller, which is the green one? 
So many questions. I have been Buddy Blues and you have been the people of the blues. Thank you so much for joining me this time. Please like, subscribe, comment, do the whole shebang. Show this video to your mom. Until next time, thank you so much.